From old to new, the green economy is always at work. Let's go to Brahmo Motors in Ashland, Oregon and learn more about the international electric motorcycle industry. What this country needs is the next best thing, and I think we found it. We're here in Southern Oregon with the first full production power cycle in the United States. How did you get started in this? We didn't start out being green. We started out as performance junkies. We started out with cars, uh, produced a car called the Ariel Atom for a number of years. And then along the way, we discovered electric motors. We realized, wow, there's, there's a way we could change the world with electric vehicles. So we set out to do that. And you've done it. You've got a huge percentage of products that are actually manufactured. Here. We do have some parts that we haven't been able to find U.S. manufacturers for, but eventually we may even evolve that. Well, that's a big deal for sustainability yeah. for our country. We do have global expansion plans, but uh, we'll always do the design, engineering, and innovation here, and we hope to grow the company here. We believe the U.S. market has the greatest potential, even though Americans don't see motorcycles as much as transportation as the Europeans do. We think that might be shifting just a little bit, and if we offer opportunities like our product, where it's very unintimidating, very easy to get involved with, you can jump on it, no clutch, no gears. If you can ride a scooter or a moped, you can ride the Inertia. The Inertia isn't designed as a touring bike, but as a commuter. Its range is 42 miles on one charge and can cruise at 60 miles an hour. If you can plug it in at work using a standard outlet and charge the batteries in three to four hours, your range doubles. A bike like this is going to transform the way we get to work. That was awesome. One of the most exciting things that I found out about your company is that you use a lot of recycled content to build these. We do. At every step of the way, we see if there's a way to use recycled content. The chassis itself is actually made right in Portland. It's aluminum recycled content. And this is a patent pending uh, chassis that is actually doubles as the, uh, as the battery tray. It only takes about three hours to build a bike. About every 35 or 40 minutes, one can come off the line. So we have six lithium batteries. We do. We have three below and three above. These are uh, made up of uh, recycled plastic ground up battery cases. And this is the charging system and the vehicle control unit. And then it goes on to the dyno uh, for testing. So we roll, roll the bike up on the dyno where we burn it in. A lot like uh, computer people will turn on computer to make sure that all the electronics are there. And then they get ready to ship. We can either put the body panels on them, or as you can see here, we have them without body panels on them. And uh, we can actually build them to order at the point of distribution, which for us is Best Buy. How long will one last? Well, the batteries, this particular chemistry, lithium iron phosphate, is good for 1,800 to 2,000 cycles. So over 60,000 miles. And then it's completely recyclable after it's done, isn't it? Even the battery? Yeah, the, these batteries are recyclable. The company that sells them is working on a recycling program as well. Well, Craig, as far as the motorcycle goes, it's powerful, it's amazing. But as far as running your company goes, you're paying attention to sustainable bottom line concepts, aren't you? We are everything from workforce housing close to the office. We've got an eight acre site across the street that we're going to expand into that the state is supporting us but we're trying to look at solar and lead certified buildings every step of the way and what's the future hold we're very excited about europe we switzerland france italy the uk and we've already got an agreement with a company that wants to bring them into hong kong and singapore so we've got global aspirations and we hope to get there as quickly as we can to take advantage of the market but also the sooner we can get everybody on electric, whether it's our product or something else, we think the world's going to be a better place.